Hey, it's Owen from Happy, and today we're going to take a look at an exciting new old box from AudioScape, the 260VU. AudioScape are a very cool audio company out of Port Orange, Florida, USA. I first heard about him when I was visiting a studio a few years back, and the owner was raving about the V-Comp he just picked up, a nicely priced remake of a Gates Stay Level. Turns out AudioScape was remaking and improving old audio pieces in limited runs for a really nice price, so I jumped straight onto their mailing list. And here we are now. The 260VU is a voltage controlled amplifier, or VCA, compressor based on the now famous 1976 DBX160 compressor, commonly known as the DBX160VU, thanks to the big old VU meters that differentiate it from the later DBX160 models. It's the first professional audio compressor DBX released and has a very hard knee. Some perceive this as a kind of weakness, but it gradually became recognized, like these things do, as a feature and goes part way to providing the smack these boxes are known for. There's something special about the way transients and mid-range pop through on this thing thanks to their fast feed-forward design. A little extra harmonics kind of come through too, and they're totally unlike other VCA compressors that followed, like the SSL G-Bus or the API 2500. The 160VU is, as far as I know, the original VCA compressor, using the proprietary 200 VCA gain cell made by company founder David Blackmer, the DV in DBX, which also stands for Decibel Expansion, something Blackmer set out to do, increase the dynamic range of recording media which ironically is the opposite of what I'm going to do with this compressor. Original 160V units were cheap-ish in the 90s and early 2000s for a little, but as people began picking them up for a reasonable price and extolling their virtues, they've now become pretty damn expensive. And then you've got the guy from Tame Impala blabbing on about the DBX165 on his drums, so you've no chance of getting one of those cheap ever again. So, in this post-eBay world, the 160VU compressors have gotten so expensive that there was a gap where a reasonably priced remake would be a hit. And here it is, the AudioScape 260VU. The 160VU originally came as a mono unit, and here you have an unlinked stereo pair to sculpt and crush audio as you please. The AudioScape 260VU has all the features of the 160. They've remade the famous DVX VCA gain cell and RMS circuit both of which were originally stashed in a silver box and covered in goop to keep you out. And they've included a bunch of new old stock transistors for that 70s tone, used a TL082 op amp like the original, and used a new old stock CA8083IC for the RMS circuit. I'm pretty sure they've also beefed up the power supply, so it'll act a little more reliably than the original, whilst retaining that sweet 70s transient smack. They've also done away with a safety circuit that would mute the whole output if a transistor died, replacing this with a relay, a modern solution that does not affect the tone in any way. And check it out, looks like they've designed their very own custom IC for the gain cell. And there's XLRs on the back rather than having to deal with the pigtails of the old units. Looking at the box, it's a fairly straightforward compressor. You've got three knobs, one for threshold, one for compression ratio, from one to infinity, and an output gain knob. Simple. Then you've got an RMS switch, which links the RMS detectors between the two channels, and metering switches to pick from input, output, and gain reduction showing on the meter. Not that you'll ever really switch it out of gain reduction mode. You've also got the VU meters and the LEDs these boxes are famous for. The cool thing about these is they light up depending on whether you're above or below the threshold where compression is taking place. So once you get them dancing in time with the music, you've kind of got your levels sorted. These boxes are great for slow and mid-tempo stuff as they've got an automatic attack and release. I find they don't work so great on fast material, but that's where you'd kind of bust out an 1176 or a distressor. These boxes are perfect for some very specific uses. I love them especially on drum buses. And it's cool because if the smack on the transient is too much, you can squish it more and it feels like the attack speeds up and chops off that transient. You can also touch your source lightly with a huge ratio and only just kiss the top of your peaks. 
or have the ratio down low and really belt the threshold. Today, I'm gonna run a drum bus through it. Try it on bass and then on some acoustic guitar. I'll be playing around with the settings and push it to the extreme just so you can see how great and wild this thing can sound. Here we go. And there we have it, the Audioscape 260 VU VCA compressor. A fantastic sounding recreation of the DBX 160 VU with all the looks of the original. Can we admire the hard work in matching the original styling, please? Plus, there's enough modernization to integrate it perfectly into a modern studio without losing the sound you'd buy the box for. Now, it's not a compressor for every occasion. But when you require it, it's the only unit that does this specific sound properly. I kind of wish I had a bypass on it, but that's my only gripe. And you can kind of get that anyway by turning the ratio knob down to one. And it definitely sounds like a 160VU. The 260VU retails for $13.99 US, comes with a two year warranty, and is available direct from the Audioscape website. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time for more stuff.